Is there any other question from you? Uh, actually, I just signed in. I was actually initially uh, reaching out by phone, so this the information will will be available. I mean, are you going to record this this um, this session? Uh, yes, and and you there will be a video available as all, uh, as well. So you will be able to see okay, a, a video of it, and you'll be able to see all this site, uh, you know, all this uh, information. Uh, it may, you may not be able to see it in the sidebar. If you were on Google Hangouts, there is an audio video available as well as an Uber conference. So if you went to the herbalhealthreview.com and you clicked on the uh, and you and you clicked on what am I trying to say here? I'm going back again. If you clicked on the very top. Uh, where it says discoveries in health you will be able to see that when you click on discoveries in health you would then be able to see all the different ways you can join us through on your telephone uh, by dialing 503-606-6064 that's in that report on, er, on discoveries in health it's on the herbalhealthreview.com and it gives you three ways to join us, and that is through the, by the telephone or on your computer in Uber Conference. Uh, it gives you a link to do that. And finally, it gives you a little green button on the bottom, and that way you can join us um, uh, on if you have a camera, if you have audio and video on your, cam, if, on your computer, then it'll, you could go to Google Hangouts, and they're going to ask you to get a Gmail email, and you can do that for free. And once you've got a Gmail, uh, a, a Gmail, Gmail address, uh, then uh, they let you join the Google Hangouts on plus uh, plus Google uh, plus Google. And uh, then you can join the Google Hangouts and you can see the audio video of this live and join us there as well. So there's three ways to join us here. And, uh, and a video will be available up on herbalhealthreview.com, uh, let's say probably in uh, maybe by tomorrow or the next day. It'll take us a, a day or two to get it up there. And it'll be on YouTube and it'll be on uh, and it'll be on discoveries in health under that uh, uh, herbal health review in the discoveries in health tab. You'll see a, you'll see all the videos that we've made, and uh, plus there's a lot of other videos available on herbal health review. There's over a hundred videos available on Dr. Burst's live consults, all available. All this information is free and it's available on herbalhealthreview.com. Okay, and I'm going. Okay. Okay, I'm going back now and uh, I'm taking calls. I'm un anybody who would like to ask a question, please unmute your microphone and ask a question. And I'm not hearing any questions. And so, if you do have a question, unmute your mic and ask the question. We're, we are taking questions and answering questions live. And... Interesting. Okay. All right. We 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 are live here on Discoveries in Health and taking questions. If you have a question, unmute your mic, ask your question, and we will give you an answer. Whatever your question might be. And Crystal, if you have a comment, chime in and let us know who what uh, what's on your mind today if you have anything that you wanted to present or or talk about 
Uh, please let us know what that might be. Might be. Dr. Burst, can you hear me all right? I can. Who's? Hi, I'm, my name is Kathy. I have a couple of questions for you. I wonder if you could help me out. I'm, I'm, I've had, uh, where are you calling from? Nevada, area ne code 702. Okay, hold on while I mute the other mics so that the, we don't have any kind of a echo. Okay, well, I'm going back over here and muting microphones so that we don't have an echo. And I've got them just about all muted. Hold on while I finish. Sure. Muting. I think everybody is muted. So I am ready for your question. Okay, I've been having some really serious problems with sinus infections for the last 15 years. And um, I just recently, in the last five years, kind of keyed in on that when I get these sinus infections, I also get UTIs at the same time. And uh, I was wondering if you have any suggestions on how to maybe change lifestyle or what kind of herbs to take because all they do is just give me a lot of antibiotics. And, of course, that absolutely destroys my stomach and my bowels. And uh, I have gone to some herbs, but and I've used your sinus rinse as well, but... Um, it's it's really very difficult, and I'm thinking this is probably systemic. So maybe I need more than just localized help with this. Yes. So you're now when you say you're using that number ten thirty three sinus, uh, uh, it's an antibiotic. Yes. Uh, septic sinus wash. Uh, mm -hmm. How how much are you using? How often? Well. Um, you know, you have to put the dosage in there in, in warm water, and uh, and then you have to wait for it to cool off. And then I use what the bottle recommends, and I don't have it with me right now offhand. But then I rinse with it. But uh, no rinse that I have ever used have, has ever worked. Well, you know, this is uh, the herbs in that antiseptic sinus wash are bayberry bark, and I put a link there to it. On the uh -huh. side, on the sidebar in Google Hangouts, uh, and and that bayberry bark is an astringent, and it shrinks up the sinus membranes. And the golden mm -hmm. seal is an as an antibiotic that kills infection. Then the, there's myrrh gum in there that gets mm -hmm. rid of all kinds of funguses and viruses and infections as, as well. Mm -hmm. Then there's colloidal silver water, which is one of the greatest antibiotics on the, it is the greatest antibiotic on the planet so so what we're what we're talking about then is we're talking about uh, the antiseptic sinus wash and using it you you have been diluting it and yes. and yes. It's, and instead mm -hmm. instead just take it straight out of the bottle Oh really? Just take it straight out of the bottle and put it up and and fill that that uh, pipette, the dropper, the dropper uh -huh. pipette, fill it half full, and then hold it up to your nose and snuff a drop or two at a time until uh -huh. it's, until you can actually see it and taste it on your tongue when you can. Uh -huh. And, and and that way you know you've gotten up all the way through the sinuses mm -hmm. and, and and it's now coming on your tongue and you and then do the other nostril and do the same thing a drop or two at a time we're not flooding the sinuses we're not making it uncomfortable we're just doing a drop or two at a time until you've got it all the way through and mm -hmm. and so you need to do that and you need and, and you'll need to do that two, three, four times a day, and you're going to need to do it every day for about 10 days because, wow, okay. because we need to get aggressive with yes. this infection, and that's what's going to do it. It's going mm -hmm. to be not diluting it with anything else, just pay, mm -hmm. taking it straight and snuffing up, and by the time you've done it for 10 days, it's going to get rid of the infection, and if it doesn't, you're going mm -hmm. to be the first person that I've ever talked to that have done it that way 
and it didn't work. If it doesn't work, you got to be the first person it doesn't work for. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because those are good herbs. I I've looked it up, and they are all good herbs. I just I just haven't had much luck. Maybe I'm not getting it to the right um, sinus area because it's really high up in the sphenoid yeah. uh, it, sinuses. It, it'll do it if you do it. If, you're, if we're going to go full dose and we're going to uh -huh. snuffing it right into the sinuses and we're doing it three, maybe even four times a day, whatever really? it takes, get aggressive with it. You, you're not going to hurt yourself by doing more, but we got to do it aggressively as much as it takes three times a day, six times a day, whatever it takes. Uh, uh -huh. And we need to do it for 10 days. And, 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 and after about two or three days of doing that, you should have just about no infection left. By the time you've done it for 10 days, you absolutely should not have an infection left. Uh -huh. And if you're and if you did, uh, I want you to call me and let me know. Uh, come okay. back, come back and visit us here next next week, and and let and, and let me know how you're doing with that because I don't expect you to have a, even in seven days. I don't expect to have any sinus. Uh, infection left, but you need to get back with us and let us know because I we can get more aggressive, but I think that'll do it. I'd be delighted, really. And the other thing is, what do you suggest for UTIs? All right, let, let me go to let me go to the discoveries in health, mm -hmm. uh, and let's go click on common conditions. And when we click on common conditions, I'm going to go down alphabetically to you. Uh, and under the alphabetical letter U, I'm looking for UTI, urinary tract infections, and I click on that link, mm -hmm. and now I'm going to that link, and I'm going to paste it in uh, here, but it's under uh, herbalhealthreview.com on that website, and go to common conditions. Go all the way down to urinary tract infections, and it will describe urinary tract infections and what to do about it. And uh, it's going to give you the complete information how to deal with urinary tract infections. It's going to talk about things like uh, natural antibiotics, and it's going to give you a list of natural antibiotics. And uh -huh. I think that, uh, again, while you're doing that course of, uh, uh, of the antiseptic sinus snuff for 10 days, uh -huh. at the same time, drink colloidal silver water like mm -hmm. a, every day uh, for, uh -huh. 10, for 10 days. Mm -hmm. Along with that, that gives you a strong natural antibiotic. And then it talks about making sure you're taking calcium and magnesium, taking some extra amino acids, making sure you're taking enzymes and potassium and super green foods that we talked about earlier, which mm -hmm. it, it gives you a lot of energy. And, mm -hmm. and it also talks about a multiple vitamin called uh, Intramax, which gives you a lot of uh, a lot of energy. And it talks about taking an anemia relief formula to, to make sure you're, uh, you're you're not low on iron and mm -hmm. and it's also uh, which can also help to the kidneys to ex to excrete waste so that anemia formula will do that and then the pomegranate then there's pomegranate concentrate which has antibiotic properties that helps to acidify the urine uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and, and decrease the uric acid and taking extra parsley uh, uh, which works as a diuretic to decrease the uric acid and hydrangea which cleanses the urinary tract and uber ursi which has germicidal properties that cleanse the urinary tract it's all listed there and all links to those products and and uh, and right at the top there, it gives a link to natural antibiotics. And when you click on that link to natural antibiotics, it talks about Ant B, which is Echinacea, Golden Seal, Poke Root, and Cayenne, which uh -huh. is a great antibiotic topically. So you're, you're getting an antibiotic into, into your sinuses. And if you're taking 
more antibiotics like the echinacea and golden seal orally and taking grapefruit seed extract, which is also an antibiotic, and drinking colloidal silver water uh, day and night for, uh, you know, uh, uh, up to 10 days. And, mm -hmm. and then there are things like andrographis leaf and olive leaf extract. So uh -huh. there and and you know all of these things, and you're taking the ex, uh, golden seal and the and the, mm -hmm. and the echinacea and eating lots of raw garlic and eating uh -huh. and, and taking a little bit of raw honey in your diet, and and you're getting the the myrrh through your sinuses and you're getting the golden seal through your sinuses, and if you're mm -hmm. then taking some extra sage and thyme uh, and and oregano oil. Uh, there's no way you could have an infection by the time you start taking all of these things. You may not have to take all of them, not uh -huh. and normally people don't have to take all of them. They just start adding one and another and another and another to finally they break the infection, whatever it takes. But that gives you a lot of different things to add so that you do actually uh, have a tremendous amount of antibiotics going through your system and you do something like that for up to 10 days to destroy any infection by the end of 10 days I don't see how you could have any kind of an infection you're in a, a UTI or a sinus infection or any kind of infection with all of those natural antibiotics going through your system so uh, so it so since you've not had any results just using the sinus formula, which is an antibiotic, uh -huh. and if you and if you're really powering down the, the uh, colloidal silver water, uh, you should not be able to have an infection of any sort. Uh -huh. So so that's how to get really aggressive with that and get rid of it, and then if, and and then get back to us again next Thursday uh, on on our conference call here and let us know. You don't have a sinus infection anymore because you shouldn't. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Do you think that uh, one other question relating to this, when I have something sweet or bread or cheese, those three are like absolute killers and everything just flares up. Do you think this could be related to yeast? Oh, yes, definitely. That's where you would want to look at the Candida albicans uh, information on the... Uh -huh. Uh, be, uh, on the uh, herbalhealthreview.com uh, right. uh -huh. un, un, under common conditions uh, you're mm -hmm. going to want to look at the uh, you're going to want to look at candida uh -huh. uh, and uh, and we have a question so now uh, I'm, I'm, and then I'm going to answer the question how do you get colloidal silver water we're going to answer that question next but after you've used these antibiotics, as soon as you're done, you absolutely must be using the number 4675 acidophilus powder that is listed over there at betterhealthherbs.com. Okay. You, you want to, because now, once you're done knocking out the infection, it'll come back again mm -hmm. if you don't start using colloidal soap if you don't start using acidophilus powder you must mm -hmm. and then and use it every day for the rest of your life and that's going to stop you from getting these infections and uh and uh and and and, and again taking lots of raw garlic and mm -hmm. and um and 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 and, and and all through this time, you're taking lots of raw garlic, and, and then when you're done doing all of this colloidal silver water and all these natural antibiotics and sinus mm -hmm. wash, you must take acidophilus powder and quit taking the natural antibiotics until you need it again in the future, and mm -hmm. which you may not, which, which you, if you're using the acidophilus powder, it's going to increase your immune system, and you may, you may have... Uh, not have that problem again but that's how to deal with it okay okay thank you so much for your help all right god bless you please you please mute your mic now and I'm Thanks going and I'm going to go and I'm going to take the question uh, from from uh, uh, from 
Soroya, uh, who, oh, who, who wants to know about. Okay, I'm. Uh, we need to. You need to mute your mic if you're not talking. If you're not asking me a question, uh, please mute your microphone. I will. You know, her and I have been texting back and forth, and she's been good with that. So. Okay, and I got Crystal there, and that so, so, and and I don't have her on camera, but I have her. And, and yeah, Crystal, you can hear me. <laughs> okay, and I can hear you. And <laughs> Crystal has mentioned, uh, you know, it's in the sidebar here. It's it's best fresh to use uh, uh, garlic. And, uh, and 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 the colloidal silver water. Now, where do you? The question was, how do I get colloidal silver water? And and the best answer is, oh, you can buy it at the store. It's sixty dollars a quart. Uh, you can buy it uh, at uh, Better Health Herbs, and it's sixty dollars for thirty-two ounces. But don't do that. Don't buy the water. Make the water yourself, and that is called a colloidal silver water generator, which is a little box that never wears out. It has batteries in it. It's like a flashlight. You change the batteries. It has a little light on the front, and when the light gets weak, that means your batteries are weak, and you and that's the only reason the light is there to let you know if your bat when the light is weak you change the three little nine volt batteries in there and you have that little box the rest of your life and you're able to make a gallon of colloidal silver water every 40 minutes worth $240 the little box will last you the rest of your life. It costs $79.95. It comes complete and all ready to go. And and all you have to do is all you have to do is take your little box. So what exactly is colloidal silver water? What is exactly is colloidal silver water? Colloidal mm -hmm. silver water at the turn of the century. Oh by the way, to make it, it'll cost you about a dollar a gallon to make it. If you buy it from the store, it's two hundred and forty dollars a gallon. So you can pay a dollar a gallon when you have the little box that makes colloidal silver water. And what it does is you take these rods and you put them down in to a gallon of distilled water. You have this uh, one gallon glass jar, like an old pickle jar, and you fill it all the way to the top with water till it's all almost coming over the top and then once it's, you've got this gallon of distilled water it cost you about a dollar for the water you put those rods because the little box comes complete and ready to go you just take those little rods attach them to the alligator clips put them down into the one gallon container push them up against the side of the jar and then pull it out a little bit to about to where they're about one inch apart or nah, about a half inch about a half inch apart and and they're pulled out and they drop about mm, just a, about six grains not even a pinch less than a pinch of salt sea salt into that there that cause con that causes conductivity and and then you set the timer for 40 minutes and you can do that every 40 minutes you got two hundred and forty dollars worth of colloidal silver water that cost you a dollar and that's how to make colloidal silver water and what it does it's those those silver rods with that little three nine volt batteries are causing electricity to come between the two of them you can't be shocked it's not gonna hurt you you can touch them but you don't want to uh, you can touch it and everything. Now, what it's going to do is sub-microscopic particles of silver are coming off of those rods and those sub-microscopic particles of silver are in solution, carrying an electric charge, and they are carrying an electric charge, and they're and they are attracted to a virus 
a fungus, a bacteria, and they penetrate the cell and they disable the oxygen and the cell dies and never builds up an immunity. Whereas antibiotics kill about 90% of the virus, fungus, bacteria, and make the other 10% of the bacteria and viruses and funguses stronger, and, and you never build up an immunity to them. Finally, the doctor says, I'm sorry, you're, we don't have any kind of an antibiotic that's going to kill that virus or that, or that fungus, maybe except prednisone, but prednisone will kill you. It'll dry you up from the inside out. Oh, but it will kill the it'll kill the infection temporarily, but it dries you up and kills you too if you keep taking it. So uh, they have nothing except the safe colloidal silver water, which all it does is disable the oxygen and kill the virus fungus and and it never builds up an immunity so that's what colloidal silver water is that's what it does but don't buy the water buy the box here's a link to it i'll put it on the sidebar here it would be number four five seven six but remember remember when uh when you uh four five seven six four oops, four five seven six i'm gonna go find that and there it is, the colloidal silver water generator. And I copied the link location. And I'm over in the sidebar. And I'm putting that in on Google Hangouts, where we are there, live with audio video. And there it is, number 4576. There's a link to that colloidal silver water generator, which is 7995 and you'll have it the rest of your life. It's guaranteed for life. And you, then you can, any anytime anybody comes in and says, I've got a cold, a flu, a virus, you hand them a glass of colloidal silver water and they keep drinking it day and night. And if they start on it immediately, if it's a kid who came home from the school and says, everybody's in school's got the flu, now and I feel sick, and you hand it to them and, and, and you, they're drinking this water, by the next morning, they're ready to go back to school because you catch it the first day. If you catch it the second or the third or the fourth day, it's going to take, it may take you three, four, five, six, seven, or even 10 days to get rid of it, but it will. And the key is when you're done with this safest antibiotic in the world, which is colloidal silver water, which is what doctors used at the turn of the century in 1900 but it was $100 an ounce because they didn't have any way to make it. They just invented electricity. And if you went to the doctor, he'd say, here's some colloidal silver water, but it's really expensive, $100 an ounce, but it'll, it'll get rid of your, your, your virus. Or, and then in 1940, in 1940, along came antibiotics, which are horrible and only kill 90% of the, of, of the virus or the flu or the fungus or whatever it is. And then the other 10% gets stronger and you have nothing to get rid of it except colloidal silver water. But they don't use that except in every burn ward in the world, they have a colloidal silver salve for burn patients because no fungus, virus, or bacteria can live in the presence of, uh, of the... Uh, colloidal silver. So that's why it's in every burn ward in the world. Oh, and they spray it in a baby's eyes so a baby won't have an in, uh, won't be blind, a newborn baby. That's the only time they use it. Other than that, they're going to give you the poison drugs which will make you sick more, more which, which just don't work. They just don't work. So that's colloidal silver water. That's how to deal with any kind of a virus, fungus, bacteria. But please, after you're done, whatever, if it, if it takes 10 days or 20 days, after you're done getting rid of it, be sure and take acidophilus powder or acidophilus capsules. And you get all of these good things, where to get them and where to get information uh, and and then when you when you get your generator if you it comes with the instructions how to make it it's real simple uh, but if you 
can't remember, you call the folks at betterhealthherbs.com and their phone number is 541-791-8400. That's 541-791-8400. And that is how you uh, get the generator, you get the acidophilus, uh, you get uh, the antiseptic sinus snuff, or you get the urinary tract uh, 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 in, in, in infection uh, uh, pro, uh, products you get all those from betterhealthherbs.com uh, on their website betterhealthherbs.com or call them at 541-791-8400 and they have all these things that we're talking about and by the way uh, I don't get any money from the sale of any product I don't get a check at the end of the month I don't get a check at the first of the month. I don't get anything from them at all uh, because I have fought the FDA. And the only reason I'm still here is a is the chief federal judge of the Western United States told them he's not making any money from this. He lives under a vow of poverty. Here's his tax re reports. He has no money. He owns nothing. He is the poor, serving the poor, and told the FDA to leave me alone because I'm not doing I'm not doing anything wrong because I'm not taking any money for doing this. If I made a living doing this, which I don't, then I, I probably would be in jail right now uh, and, and, and in contempt of court. But a federal judge realizes I'm doing this for nothing. I'm doing this. I'm not doing it for nothing. I'm doing it. For the glory and for the victory of the Most High, in the name of Yeshua, all praises to the Most High, Ahia. I'm doing this for the glory and victory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's why the chief federal judge of the Western United States told the FDA to leave me alone. That's why I'm here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. If I, if I made a living doing this, I live on donation alone. I serve the poor. I don't get any donations. And that's just the way it goes. And I will not quit. Okay. <clears throat> any other question? If you have a question, please. Yes, I have a question, Doctor. Go ahead. Okay. So you're not lying about the um, the colloidal silver water is extremely expensive. I paid $15 for an ounce of it. I wanted to know, because I bought the one that's 500 ppm. Does, when you get the machine, does it come with instructions on how to get high levels? Like, cause this, at this level, they were saying you only needed like two or three drops underneath the tongue every day. Uh, yeah, that's, that that's overkill and all they're doing is making money selling you something you really don't need because 10 parts per million mm -hmm. will, is all that is needed all the scientific tests that were done uh, for the efficacy of colloidal silver water were done at 10 parts per million that's all it takes and you can make a stronger dose when we make a batch of colloidal when we when better health herbs makes a batch of colloidal silver water and sells it by the court for sixty dollars a 32 ounces it's about 25 to 50 parts per million that way it can sit for six months or a year mm -hmm. and as long as it doesn't get below 40 degrees or above 140 degrees it'll stay in solution for up to a year however if you get it too cold or too hot it'll drop out of solution so you can and you can when you're making it in that 40 minutes it'll be about 25 parts per million okay if you want it to be stronger you can leave the rods in there longer just leave them in there longer and 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 you'll know when you've gone too far and you've maxed out when you start getting black flakes on the uh, on the surface of the water and you take a plastic spoon because you never touch it with metal you only touch it with plastic or wood or glass okay and you just take a plastic spoon or a wooden spoon and when it starts getting those black flakes on the top maybe you've gone for uh, maybe you've gone for two 40-minute sessions 
and pretty soon there's going to see you're seeing black flecks. Well, you're probably about uh, 100 parts per million at that point, maybe even 200 parts per million, and and, and you scoop the flip or the flakes off of the top of the water, and that's a and it's way over 10 parts per million, and then you use it day and night, drink it day and night until you're over what you're trying to get over. And as soon as you're over it, you can quit taking it. Don't take it, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, unless you unless you start to get sick again or something, then you can take it again. But don't take it until you need it. And while you're not taking the colloidal silver water, please take acidophilus capsules or acidophilus powder. And that's it. That's how to use colloidal silver water. And that's what it is. And it's absolutely safe. And the FDA and the medical establishment does not want you to know about this. Right. No, that much I do know, Dr. Burst. But, okay, so you saying only 10 parts per minute is fine? Yes. That's all so, it takes. And then, so, like, okay, so let's say I buy the generator, right, and I put it in an eight-ounce jar. Do I chase it with water? Do I, Or can I just take, like, a teaspoon of that just the way it is every day or... No, you, you, you'd you want to drink the whole glass of it and drink glass after oh. glass after glass. If you, so if you, I make eight ounces of it, I would drink the whole eight ounce glass and then make another eight ounce glass the next time I want it again? Uh, if, that, if you're only going to make eight ounces at a time, it's only going to take you about uh, four or five minutes. Because I was wondering maybe if I can um, make something strong that I can like add to a drink or because that's what I was doing with this. It's 500 ppm, but I was diluting it in different cups of water every day until I got over the cold. Right. And and, and you can you can do that. You can you can dilute it in in, in water. But if you put it in with. Uh, uh, regular drinking water. No, distilled water. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm not aware. Okay, so you're putting it in a distilled water and you're diluting it. So uh, if if you make eight ounces of it, or if you have eight ounces of 500 parts per million, uh, and and you dilute it and, and you put it in four ounces of 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 uh, if you put if you added eight ounces of water to that. Now you got 16 ounces of water. Now you got 250 parts per million because you've cut it in half. And 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 if, and and if you added and if you added another 16 ounces of water to that, uh, so now you got 32 ounces of water. You've cut it in half again, and now you've got 125 parts per million. So every every time you're adding more water to it, you're you're diluting it. And you and you're. And right, you're, I know, but that's that's what I'm trying to do. I want. I was asking if I make a strong, um, colloidal silver solution, it cannot like let's say I make an ounce of let's say 500 ppm. Yes. Can I put those in drops of? Can I just put it in like eight ounces? Put three or four drops of that in eight ounces of water, and drink that until I'm over the cold, just to preserve it for long periods of time. Uh, it, you're going to be diluting that, uh, if you're taking one ounce and you're diluting it eight times, uh, if you're, or if, if so if you're taking right, it. Right, but you said a 10 ppm is fine. Uh, yeah, so you're, so you're diluting it well, down course, quite, right? quite a bit. Just, just, just realize that whatever you're doing, you're diluting it and you're cutting it by a percentage. So if you, if you, yeah. if you're putting one ounce of, of two, uh, 500 parts, uh, into eight ounces, you're diluting it uh, eight times. Oh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the five minutes to ten parts per minute. Um, yeah, well, when you do, if, even if you make it uh, in let's say eight ounces, and mm -hmm. you and you do this for five uh, five minutes, or if you did it for ten minutes, you're gonna probably have about a hundred to to two hundred parts per million. Because, okay. in, in other words, but you're got, you'll know when you max out and you've got all of them parts per million, it'll be very cloudy and you're going to start to see those black flakes on the top. That means you have gone as far as you can go uh, because it's going to start. And, and you know, because like when you've gone, if you've gone 40 minutes, 
and you pull those rods out and you want to go another 40 minutes, you're going to wipe the rods off with a white paper towel. Uh, that's what I do. Then I take a scratchy pad and I make sure they're shiny again. And then I put down in and in in if I want to make a really super strong batch, then I go again for another 40 minutes and I'm watching it to make sure that I, whether I, in that period of time, if it's, if it's gone 35 minutes and it starts putting black flecks on the top of the surface, well, then I've gone as far as I'm going to go, even if it's 35 minutes. But I, I've, very, I've quite often made a double batch, uh, a double strong batch, uh, which puts it right at uh, 250 uh, parts per million by uh, wiping the rods off and going another 40 minutes. First 40 minutes, I know I've got about 50 parts per million. Second 40 minutes, I've probably got about 250 parts per million because I'm, I'm really loading it up at that point. But it's cleaning the rods off and going again for another length of time, and you can make it as strong as you want it. Okay, thank you. And also, I just wanted to give a testimony about um, the back pain that I was having, and you told me to try the uh, liver bladder um, tincture. I actually took that, and the pain was gone. It's gone. I don't have any back pain anymore. So you were absolutely Yay. right. So thank you, <laughs> and thank Crystal. That pain is gone. All Yay! Pray All, pr God. All praises <laughs> to the Most High. <laughs> All praises be to the Most High. Thank you, Dr. Burst. Okay, well, that's wonderful that, you know, people are getting results, and, and that's why we do this, and that's why I do this, and I can't quit doing this, is because uh, when people call you back and tell, you know, they say, you know, hey, uh, I gave this to my coworker, it was a lady with uterine cancer, uh, stage, stage four uterine cancer, and uh, a, 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 a brother, brother Darian called me up and said, Hey, you know, this lady in our office, she's got uterine cancer. They told her she's got two weeks to live. Uh, go ahead, you know, and, and they told her to go home. You're going to live maybe about two weeks and you're going to die. And he, he says, Truman, what do I do? And I said, well, you can try, the, tr try the cancer formula that we make. It's called CF, and it's, uh, it's, it has a particular herb in it called graviola. And a lot of people don't know that graviola is the herb from the tree of life in the Bible. That's the herb from the tree of life, graviola. And it's in the CF formula. Well, when you take that, it, it destroys cancers. And they know it. Doctors know it. Well, it's any of them that, that care. Uh, but they don't use it. But it in this CF formula, there's graviola, and there's a whole bunch of other herbs that are used uh, against cancers. And, and, you know, historically and traditionally, and I'm not claiming any cures here. The Lord does the curing. All I do is make herbs that are helpful to you. And anyway, so he, he got a bottle of that CF formula and gave it to this lady, uh, and I didn't hear from him. I said, and then he called back in two months and he said, you know, you've really helped me, helped my family. I've got the colloidal silver water generator. We love it. And we've taken this and that and the other and we've all we've got helped. And it's, it's great. Oh, and, and I said, wait a minute. I said, what happened to the lady with stage four uterine cancer who had only had two weeks to live? He said, oh, she went back to work. She doesn't have cancer anymore, and she had diabetes, but she doesn't have that anymore either. I said, all praises to the Most High. So I just want you to know that the Lord, the Most High, is doing the healing. All, all we're doing is, is reading the Bible, finding the herbs, and putting them together, and, and letting your food be your medicine, and your medicine be your food, rather than poison chemical drugs and chemotherapy that are just killing people. So that's, that's how that works.